Hey guys, welcome to the BTV6 modding tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to install mods into your BTD6 and which ones are safe and whatnot. Uh, before we get started though, I do want to mention that this can like get your account flagged if you like abuse it on odysseys and bosses and races and stuff. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. So uh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 just be careful when you're using these mods. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, you want to go to Steam and then find your balloons. Uh, go to right click on it manage browse local files uh, it'll come up with all of this go back one into common uh, so then just make a copy of it uh, and then paste it uh, it might take a bit uh, there you go you've uh, also I have a few because I've tried to record this video a few times but I've been disturbed um, anyways uh, you can name this uh, whatever you want BTD6 modded something uh, then we're gonna go to here and then you'll want to go into this website that I have linked down below uh, first you'll want to install net 6.0 I already have it installed but you guys will need to like go through the installation process it's not that complex uh, then you'll want to get the mod helper uh, you have BCD, uh, it might say unverified because these are DLLs and they can't scan it but uh, download it regardless, so I've done it many times, it's not like a rat or anything. And also download Melanota, uh, once these are downloaded, uh, go into Melanota, select, uh, uh, select all of the things in Melanota, drag them into your balloons TD6 new folder. If it says uh, this destination has multiple files with the same names, just replace them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then you'll want to load it up. It might take a bit for the first time, like a couple of minutes. Uh, that's just because it's getting all of the mod stuff like assembled and started. Uh, then it will identify it as a mod client or whatever. Yeah, you'll still be like logged in or whatever. You just uh, start up. Uh, now that it's launched, you're actually going to want to close it again. It might seem a little counterintuitive, but you'll see why. Uh, now you'll notice that a few uh, folders have been installed uh, into your folder. Uh, now you'll want to get this .dll btd6 mod helper and drag it into your mods. Uh, yeah, and wait for it to do that. And then launch it from here. Uh, not the Steam version. Launch it from Balloons 3 6 modded or whatever you named it. And now we just wait for it to load. Now you'll notice that you're logged in and there's a little mods tab here. It'll say Blooms TD6 mod helper. Because that's the mod you have. Um, this is what like allows you to do all of this. Uh, now you can go into this browse mods thing and download whatever mods you want. You can see like um, the, uh, these purple ticks are uh, usually safer. Uh, it's not that they're usually unsafe. You can download whatever you want. I doubt it'll really matter. Uh, Doom Bubbles is a good, uh, is a good safe installer. So, for example, I love playing around with Ultimate Cross Passings for my favorite mods. Uh, uh, you can just press this download button right here. Uh, you'll just, yeah, just press yes. You'll want to download it. Uh, there you go. Now you've uh, downloaded Ultimate Cross Pathing DLL into your mods folder. Now you're just going to need to restart it. Uh, Alright, now you can see we logged in again and we'll have two mods this time. Uh, and it'll be Ultimate Cross Pathing here. Uh, so here you can like play around with all the settings if you press this gear icon. Uh, you can do like whatever. Um, uh, yeah, you can like your neighbor. It depends on the mod, but there's usually some toggleable and changeable settings. Uh, now, for example, let's just go into uh, Ouch. Alright, now we're in, you can see. Uh, so let's just place it here. You can see we can upgrade all three paths without uh, it like telling you can only upgrade two paths because of the mod. Uh, now you can just do whatever you want, play around with whatever mod you'd like. Some of these mods are quite fun to play around with. If you have any errors, I'd recommend going into uh, this here, Man and Loader, Discord, and um, you can ask like support, discussion, event. there's a lot of things here. 
Um, yeah, you can just ask around. Uh, I had, I, uh, for me it didn't work. You, I just had to run back the process. Because uh, every time you, every time a new update drops, uh, you need to run back the process. Uh, I'll also be adding like a word and instructions in the description if you like, kind of didn't understand. Uh, but anyway, that's all. Uh, have a good day. Enjoy your time. Uh, good luck.